Hello, it's Caitlin, and today I am going to teach you how to have some more inspiration for fashion and beauty. This is my first video, and today I'm going to be teaching and showing you ideas about making fashion collages. First, um, I will show you some examples of mine that I've made. Here's one. You can see. And then here's another one. I have in my room. Here is another one. And then I have one by my bed. This one's one of my favorites. And you know what's kind of funny is I have Emma Watson on almost every one of them. Here she is there. Oh, I also have Emma Roberts on a couple of them. And let's see. Here's Emma Roberts again. And here's Emma Watson. And here's Emma Watson again with her shorter hair. And uh, it's very, very easy to make these. And I'm a very big magazine collector. Uh, I collect GL Magazine and Seventeen Magazine for two years. And the two years were just up for my latest. This is, so far, this is 2011 stuff. No, actually it's not. I don't know why I have this, but I just went through the two years. I have big stacks downstairs. I'm going to get ready to recycle them, and I go through them, and I pick up, I just cut out anything I like, like that, or this bag, or just like outfit combinations I like. Here's an, Here's another one, another one. And here's a really pretty one. And what I do is I will also beauty things will be the end of the video for like makeup ideas. But here is an example of what my sister made. And now you see mine are a little bit spread out so you can see the whole thing and a lot of the things are like whole pages also of magazines well hers that she makes she likes to make more collage type things if you can tell she likes to cut out quotes too here's one there are all these rules that have been set up in society and I find it really fun to break all of them and I think that was by Kesha and she just Wow, she has that one, and so do I. <laughs> and, yeah, she just likes making it more collage style, so if you want to do it like that, it's really, really easy. And don't worry about it being, like, a couple of years old. If you like it, you're always going to like certain styles like that. It's a great way to find out what kind of style you like, too. If you're not sure if you have a style, you can just cut out a bunch of stuff. Now, she likes a lot of black... And what you do is, you want to find, you don't want to have that many people on your thing. Now you see, like, this one. I had it so that the corners, it's just like two, like four main people in the corners, and then I had... One in the middle. That way it's not a bunch of all blocky big pictures all over. I just liked putting little things around the middle of it. And just like this one, you see the four things on the outside. And also try try doing funky things like have some of them on back of cardboard maybe to make it pop out more or cut it out in a fun shape. See I outlined the outside of her. That makes it look kind of cool. Or on, well, I guess this one's not at this house, but I have another one of Emma Watson riding on a horse, and I cut out, oh, just 
the top half. And but what my sister does is she just makes collage type things. You could do that if if you don't really care about seeing individual things. And she also has a couple of guys. <laughs> it's kind of funny. But yeah, that's a really good way to just be inspired and you can put it up in your room. You'll always have an idea for something that you'd like to buy or how to put something together. Just, it really brightens up your room. Here's my room. Harry Potter stuff. There's a mirror. Stuff like that. And just the other day, I have had a picture of kind of a really expensive motorcycle type jeans and it inspired me to buy these if you can tell I'll zoom in on them it has this cuff here and then another line and my friends really like these a lot and I only got them I got them at TG Maxx for like 15 bucks and they were originally 120 bucks for the brand name type ones. So yeah, just cut out things that you like in magazines. Don't be afraid to keep a stack of magazines and just cut out what you like. You can make... I have a total of six. Two at my mom's house and four here. And also, I like getting inspired by hair and makeup things. I put it... I have this ledge like thing on the top of my room like it juts out and I have some things on the top to just see right here this is all gonna be filled with stuff like that I just I'm very picky about the stuff I actually want to display so I'm waiting a little bit on that but you could just do stuff like that too and you know if you don't if you think part of the magazine is wasteful just after those years, if you want to do it for six months, a year, two years, just take out certain pages that you like. You don't have to hang them up. Just keep them. That way you don't have to look through magazines all the time, but you just have things like this is prob this dress is going to be on my new collage that I'm going to make eventually. This is... See, so just things, things that you like. Just put... You can put whole pages on, too, like... If you like Lamb Rock, Boyish Chick, Pink, <laughs> I mean obviously I like pink, but just like this kind of makeup thing, you could put on, like up, up on, along the edge of your, even if you don't have a ledge like that, you could put around, like on the top corner of your room, just, just like that, or if, uh, above your window, or anything like that, I mean, it's, it's really a great idea. So, if you need more help with fashion inspiration, here's your first idea. Look through magazines and make posters or collages. This has been Caitlin. Um, have a good day. Sorry if it's a little shaky. I'm getting used to vlogging. And, peace.